Hey there guys, what's up? It's Sean here again. Uh, today I'd actually like to talk about YouTube and I'd like to get your opinion on a couple of questions. But yeah, I just got done watching a video by a guy called Thaddeus and I'll link it in the description for you so you can go watch it if you like. But pretty much what he was talking about is how to grow your channel. And um, pretty much his biggest point was be unique, be original and try not to be boring and I guess I guess you can see all that's obvious enough but yeah I guess it is true which brings me around to my first question what do you guys think is unique original entertaining or exciting about me because I've only been doing this for I've been doing it for a long while now and I've been part of the YouTube community for a long while now but I mean in terms of actively trying to grow my channel and actually producing decent worthy content it's only been the space of a couple of weeks and uh, my channel's been growing really fast at least in my eyes you know there's I know there's some people like uh, Kimmy J he, he absolutely boomed like 15,000 subscribers in his first week and whatever else and yeah Kimmy J as this guy says in his video is probably one of the most uh, original on YouTube at least in terms of the gaming community you know it is quite funny to watch although not quite my taste but it does bring me around to my second question. How did he get so many people to look at his video? Obviously, once he got people to look at his video, they enjoyed it and they subscribed. And that is probably a higher percentage of people that watch his video and subscribe than what I do. But how did he get so many people to actually watch his video in the first place? And, um, and I think I know how Kimmy J grew his channel. I found out about Kimmy J through a comment left on a machine, uh, video that was posted on Machinima Respawn and um, it was quite clear that this guy uh, he posted comments on every single video pimping out his channel and that brings me round to uh, what is acceptable ways of growing your channel you know there's people that uh, spam my inbox with videos sharing um, oh god let me start that over I get a lot of messages, um, just being a random YouTuber from bots obviously that are just spamming my channel saying you know here's a video that I think you might link and they share this video and there's other people you know you look at the comments and they've got the top rated comment and they're, they're pimping out their channel and whatever else and um, in today's world that's kind of regarded as unacceptable but unless you go suck the dick of a bigger commentator like Woody or whatever else you're not going to get very far people aren't going to see your videos unless you have like a a large fan base it, not really fan base I mean a large group of friends that you can tell in real life but yeah in terms of my plan to actually grow my channel so far it's been I've kind of just waited around for it to happen and um, I've been tagging my videos really well so I've been picking up views from searches and whatever else but the way I get, I've got, I've gained most of my active subscribers, and if you, if you all want to put in the comments right now, how you found my first video, on my channel, whatever, please do so because it will be quite interesting. But most of my active subscribers have come from, kind of like what Kimmy J has done. He'll leave a comment on a video, but I haven't been going out specifically looking for videos to leave comments on, you know, and I haven't been trying to leave as many comments as possible. I've been leaving comments on it. Uh, videos that are relevant, you know, like my, uh, sorry, I'm about to tire. my video about afterlife perks for then coming back in MW3, I, I left a message in Photo 2 Thunder's uh, recent blop shot in MW2 video and I get a, a large uh, amount of subscribers from that and it's clear that um, it's kind of win-win, although a lot of people look down on it like you know, oh, you just want subs and you're riding off his back when really that's not the case, like I, I'm not really in this for partnership, I'm not in it to start making the home page every video I post, you know, I'm just like I want to meet a couple of cool people and pick myself up a new hobby and it's, it was kind of boring posting videos for no one and then uh, that's when I decided I might start bimping out my channel, so what do you guys think is that unacceptable, is that you know, over the top or whatever else. But let me know, like, I don't think I'll ever go to bigger YouTubers and ask them to like my videos or whatever else or check out my videos because, let's be honest, these guys must get, like, 700, 800 fucking people messaging them every minute. 
just like check out my channel, oh my god! Why you not look at my channel? It's like oh guys, come on. Like you know? I know that if I ever did reach the height of like Woody's gamer tag and all the big giants, the sea animals, I would absolutely hate for people to be messaging me every minute of the day just asking me to check out their channels when you know you're never gonna like it. So uh, yeah, I do it because I think I would hate to see it myself. So you guys, uh, I think I'm beginning to ramble on a bit, so I'm gonna summarise this video. Pretty much the questions I want you to answer, you be bothered if you want to, you know. Have you found my channel? What you like about me and my videos? And what you think are acceptable ways of growing your channel? And yeah guys, uh, I guess I'll see you all next time. Ooh, I'm not quite done yet. I want to do just a couple more things before I head off. I want to first of all say thank you to everyone that subscribed recently. I had uh, the videos I put out this week have gained me like a hundred subscribers, which is massive. And um, I want to say a big thank you as well to Pandy Man 11. I'll link his channel in the description, although he doesn't post anything. But um, he went out of his way to uh, share one of my most recent videos about how down I've been about life, and uh, he really did get me a lot of support. And he really he's encouraged me to keep going with this YouTube thing, you know. So a big thank you to him. Cheers, man. I'll never ever forget it. It's kind of got me started in this whole YouTube thing. God knows how you've done it, but you've done it. So yeah, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks to him, and if you want to know me a bit better outside of these videos, I'll be linking my Twitter in the description. I've only recently made it purely to communicate with subscribers, and that's probably the best place to go if you want to uh, play with me. I'll probably be having a couple of open hobbies on Xbox 360 soon, although I'm not an Xbox player. Yeah, I guess that's about that again. I think. Yeah, anyhow, I'm gonna head off now. Cheers for watching again, guys, and I'll see ya.